it's actually insane. Michaels, Home Sense, Home Goods, the details, girl, get into it. I've been going a little crazy inside of Target, and it's just a little ginger. I'm that girl now. I got, I got like five more months, so I didn't get a lot. It's giving believe. <laughs> when I see it, I like it. I want it like that. What's up, you guys? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. I got my Grinch Christmas pajamas on. Got my red lip on. Y'all know what time it is. The highly anticipated for me, honestly, Christmas decor haul. You guys, I'm going to show you what my living room looks like right now. It's actually insane the amount of things that I bought for just me and my apartment, but I don't care. I am in the Christmas spirit. I could literally go Christmas decor shopping every single day and I basically have. And I have just accumulated some of the best pieces for the Christmas season. I went to Hobby Lobby, Target, Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, Macy's, Michael's, Home Sense, Home Goods, like you guys. Probably the biggest haul I've ever filmed on my channel, period, including clothing, including makeup. Like I have so much stuff. So without any further ado, let's get started. First thing in this haul is behind me and it is my tree. I wanted to have it up just to be in the Christmas mood. This is a flock tree that I got from Kohl's actually, believe it or not. I randomly stumbled across it online and I ended up picking it up. By the time the coupons and everything were said and done, I think I got this tree for like $110 maybe. It's the perfect size for this space. And if you guys did not peep already, that little corner right there, I finally got my TV mounted today actually. I'll show you guys what it looks like, but I love it. I was gonna show you guys, it's actually a Yule log playing in the background, just a fire place my ring light reflections in the TV and I didn't want to blind you guys but I finally have my TV up I'm so excited to decorate my TV stand I showed you guys my tree skirt in my shopping with me video and I showed you guys a lot of the stores that I went to to accumulate these items I also want to tell you guys that not everything that I bought in this haul today is going to be used for this specific Christmas I have different themes in mind for different years and y'all know me I love to preserve I've been saving up stuff for this specific apartment let's call it manifesting okay long before I even even entered this apartment long before I even had the funds to purchase this apartment. I'm a huge fan of when I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it just in case they don't have it next year. Let me show you guys what I ended up getting for this 2023 Christmas season because girl, it's a lot. So let's start out with Crate and Barrel, okay? I ended up getting something that I wish I would have gotten at Home Goods. I saw one at Home Goods and it had something on it. It had like a smudge on it and I could not find any other one for a couple of days. So I just decided to give up and bite the bullet because I didn't want them to sell out. And that is going to be this beautiful snowman. So this is ceramic, I'm pretty sure. And I think the one at Home Goods had like a black smudge right here and I just couldn't justify getting it even if I got a discount. The sole purpose of this is to be a neutral decor piece. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this yet, but I just knew I needed to have it. And this is the medium size on Crate and Barrel if you guys are planning on getting it for yourself. This was about $34.95. So that is only thing I got from Crate and Barrel this year. I have reindeer from last year that you guys saw in my Shop With Me video. I've been sitting on those reindeer for a minute. I'm feeling the neutrals this year and you will see that a lot in this. I really am hoping and praying for a white winter wonderland type of vibe on the tree. I've been watching a lot of Gemma Christmas videos and I love the way her trees turn out. So I'm trying to embody that type of energy and I really want a sparkly winter wonderland neutral type of theme going on in most of of my apartment so this is definitely going to be a staple piece next let me show you guys what I got from Pottery Barn because it's right in front of me these are the big ticket items that I purchased and I literally have no regrets I really want to show you guys what I got because I've had this idea for a minute and it's coming into fruition and I'm living laughing loving for it this is the first Pottery Barn bag I actually went to two different Pottery Barns just for these items this is the one I went to yesterday <laughs> so she is a gingerbread cookie jar. This is the bottom of the cookie jar and these are all handmade. I've been watching a lot of Christmas videos and I heard a woman say that she got these last year but they're really popping off this year and she is not lying. These have been sold out at a lot of different party barns. The one that I went to to get this cookie jar actually did not have the next items that I'm going to show you guys anywhere on display so I'm assuming they're sold out. But this right here I really wanted this after thinking about it for a day or two. I really didn't want to wait until it sold out and then I would be sorry about it. So I just picked it up and bit the bullet. This was like $70, you guys. But it is pretty heavy duty, and I know it's going to last me years and years and years and years. I'm obsessed. I love it. You can definitely tell the quality's there. And I mean, it better be for $70, babe. And I'm planning on doing a gingerbread theme in my kitchen this year. So this had, I had to. It's a staple. 
disabled. Then that leads me to the other things I got from Pottery Barn. This is the second bag. I ended up getting some of their gingerbread houses. So I ended up getting two of them. This is the tall one. So, so, so nice. Again, handmade. The lady in Pottery Barn was actually telling me that the designers actually made physical edible gingerbread houses and then designed these based off of them. I'm assuming that's why everyone's so obsessed with them and why they look so realistic in the kitchen. I love them. Again, such good quality. Same material as the cookie jar. And I also got the shorter one right here. These are the details girl get into it i'm obsessed there is a third one that i'm kind of plotting on kind of not plotting on i really just want to position these two in the cookie jar around my kitchen and decide if i want the third one also if i do a different theme another year maybe i'm in a different apartment a townhouse a home a condo i don't know i might want to use three of these and not use a cookie jar one year i have an irrational fear of things selling out and things not coming back when i like something i really like to try and get everything at once this way i don't have to worry about it for years to come because like I said I do preserve a lot of my things and I, I take care of my items really thinking about getting some tea lights and sticking them under here I know gingerbread is like a huge trend this year but nobody did it like Pottery Barn I really love the simplicity and the realism of these gingerbread houses and then the last thing from Pottery Barn as if I need any more mugs if you guys have been watching me for a minute you know how much of a mug obsession I currently have and how it's taking over my entire cabinet literally is this not the cutest? Is this not the cutest? I do like the way the mugs look, but I also really love the functionality of mugs. And some of my mugs that I have in my collection, I do like the look of them and they're kind of small. If I want a big cup of tea, I want a big cup. Like I will go for a plain cup just because it's bigger than using one of my cute mugs and I have 5,000. So I kind of tend to go towards mugs that are bigger now. This way they can be cute and functional. So those were my biggest ticket items. So now on to let's go to Target because I'm looking at everything from Target right now. I love me a good Target run. I actually have something in my mailroom that I need to get after this video is filmed. I have another tree. <laughs> I actually have two trees coming in. I will show you guys in a decorate with me video when it comes out because I have some trees that I'm planning on decorating with in my room and they were 50% off the other day on Target. I literally bought one that was full price and the next day it was on sale for half off and best believe I got the same tree again for half off and another one to add. I've been going a little crazy inside of Target. I've been going every day, which isn't anything new for me. This garland, you guys, I love it. It's so, so pretty. I actually purchased two of these. And what I'm planning on doing is draping it along my mirror and also along my TV stand. I'm super excited to see how that decor turns out. I saw Bebe Hey have them in her video a couple of years ago and I just couldn't resist. So I got them from Target. And then speaking of that, this is the exact same type of arrangement just in a wreath. So this is the wreath that I ended up getting. I've always really wanted this wreath ever since I saw the garland a couple Couple years ago and it just kept selling out every time I tried to get it it was sold out as soon as I saw them stock this year I was so early this year at Target as soon as I saw them stock I literally grabbed it okay next from Target I just picked these up at an order pickup the other day it's just three boxes of these I opened this one just to make sure they worked mini lights these are the hundred count it's 20 feet and some change. I actually got some three other packs just like this. I just don't feel like going to get it. It's over there on the table and the sea of things that I'm surrounded by right now, it's not looking good for me. I got a six foot three of them of these just mini lights and I recommend doing this. I don't see a lot of people doing this, especially in the store. I usually pull my cart aside right before I go to checkout and scan every single item in my cart because nine times out of ten, one to five of those items in my cart is on sale or having a deal. So I always like to scan. I know a lot of Christmas stuff is not usually on sale but for black friday look out i got two of these trees actually with a reward so like i said they do have deals and tricks to get around paying full price for stuff especially at target or anywhere where you have a reward service take advantage of those rewards sis i ended up getting these essentially for i think like five dollars with my rewards i've been watching a lot of katie vining i love her okay i love her content i just discovered her this christmas season and i'm obsessed with her katie has really put me on. She's been doing a whole bunch of Shop With Me videos, which is what inspired my last video, Shop With Me. So shout out Katie, you are the reason. She was showing them in her Target. And at first I was like, I don't really like these because of the marble, I'll show you guys. From far away they look white, but up close you can see that they have like a marble texture. Underneath of this, the product detail says that it is ceramic. This one was 25 retail. 
and then this one is 20 retail so I got these two my idea is to put them on top of my TV stand we'll see how that goes out but after looking at them in the store a couple days ago I really love them and the marble matches with the vibes I have a lot of neutrals in here tans my TV stand is like a light wood I just really love neutral color so the white and the marble spoke to me and it grew on me. You thought we were done with Target? No. We have two more bags. And when I say bags, these are the bags I'm talking about, okay? So the first thing, I got this at an order pickup the other day. These are basically flameless candles. I actually have two lanterns. They were previously bought. I think I literally bought them two years ago. That's how obsessed I am, okay? I just love finding finds, envisioning what I want them to be like. Like, I literally bought them before I even had a penny to my savings, honey. And I said, I'm gonna put this in my apartment. And I did. I'll show you guys a picture they do have similar ones this year i haven't seen the exacts though i've seen a rounded version but i love the square look of these lanterns and i needed flameless candles so i picked these up they were 50 bucks for the pack of three it basically just has like a realistic flame these are actually wax material it says i haven't opened it yet but it does say it's wax it's by a threshold it being wax is really important to me because i really wanted it to have more of a realistic look obviously it's not real i don't want real fire inside of those lanterns especially because my lanterns are on the floor this year but i love the look of them and they're remote controlled that's the best i picked up these two little arrangements these will most likely go in my bathroom they were just little pieces that i couldn't say no to this one was five bucks from threshold and i think this was literally three dollars in the dollar spot my target dollar spot this year has constantly been out of stock i've been finding things just as they're stocking them as soon as i go half the stuff is gone they the hanukkah stuff is gone the christmas stuff is gone everything is gone so run don't walk to target next thing i just got these the other day i'm really really happy with this purchase i never thought i'd be one of those people that actually wanted greenery in their home but I'm that girl now. Katie was the influence, okay? <laughs> she has greenery around her house as well. And she's been talking about these faux stems that are like real touch. I've never really been a fan of the way that a real Christmas tree feels. I don't really like the texture. However, I do like the look. And because of that, I got these hearth and hand stems. They are the cedar stem and they were $4.99 each. I'm planning on using one of the vases that I got a couple years ago for my normal apartment decor and I'm just gonna put it somewhere in here and I really love the look of it. I already tested it out. It looks really really cute so I'm excited to use these. Next things I got I showed you guys already so I'm gonna breeze this real quick. I got like eight of these. These are picks that are bells. It's giving Polar Express. I originally wanted to put this inside of my tree for another year whenever I do like a gold theme. However, I, surprise, was watching a Katie Biting video and she put this inside of her garland this year on her mantle or her TV stand and I thought it was brilliant. So I might do that as well. I don't know which uh, idea I'm gonna do yet, but I'm not using these this year. I just bought them because I was scared they were gonna sell out or not come back. They were $3 a piece at the Target dollar spot. I know Hobby Lobby had literally identical ones. I like the Target ones a little bit more. I like the stem formation a little bit more at the end i feel like it's a little bit more sturdy and they were three bucks next thing more garland i got this one obviously this is way thinner and less intricate it was 10 bucks i really want to put this along my bookshelf because i really want to focus on the tv stand and the mirror when it comes to garland but just to add a little touch just in case the bookshelf looks a little barren i want to use this if not i might put it in a different part of my house but i'm planning on using it for my bookshelf which is right there next thing i got three of these green packs only because they only had one of the silver these are ornament hooks i don't know which one i'm going to use yet and i also don't know if i want to get like intricate ornament hooks for some of mine but these are just plain jane they're like a dollar fifty at target wonder shop next thing oh i forgot i even bought these y'all these are ornaments i got four of these for this year's theme of the winter wonderland situation i would love oh it looks so pretty flocked it looks so cute i just got four of them just as like a little you know texture in the tree and then i also got this one i have some silver trees from last year staring at me over here so i might incorporate silver somewhere y'all i have so many things going on i need to pick a theme but i have this i love reindeer rudolph the red-nosed reindeer is one of my favorite movies Christmas wise the claymation version I know they have different versions I've never seen any of them besides the claymation and that's the OG next thing are these bells giving polar express this 
is giving believe. <laughs> I got these bells. They were 10 bucks from Threshold. Um, they're technically vase filler. Comes with a pack of 16. I have another pack of bells somewhere in the sea of things from Michaels that are silver. And I really enjoy mixing metals. I tested this out already. I have some silver bells inside of my vase that's always in my kitchen. And I mixed the gold with the silver and perfection chef's kiss it looks so good if you don't want to pay 10 bucks for bells an alternative would literally be to go to michael's and just get regular bells they're in a case and they were like four bucks i didn't know that before going there but i like the way that these look aesthetically a little bit more than the silver ones so i kept them anyway next things are these they are stocking holders. I have some right in front of me, but they're gold and I'm doing neutrals this year. No gold. So I got some black ones. I got two packs just in case I need them for something else. Next thing, when I say I was so excited, it's it's been through a lot, girl. She's ripped. But this is the Wonder Shop collection from Target and this is a queen set. I know I said I'm not really doing any colors, but I just couldn't resist getting red bedding. I think that red is such a more emotion evoking color for me than green. I just love red. So I just really Really wanted to get some red sheets i feel like if i got green sheets they would have been a little bit too neutral i wouldn't be enough in the holiday spirit because my whole apartment is neutral i want something to give me a little pop and when i saw these i died okay when i first saw these they didn't have any queens i'm assuming queens like the most popular bed size because they're always sold out so i went to another target one day not even looking for these and they were the last one so i just literally <laughs> snagged it and ran away with my cart i love them so much and i got some pillowcases to match i'm pretty sure it was probably like 30 bucks next from Target they had these on the website I gotta get them I recently got a DVD player if you know you know I've been through so many trials and tribulations with my DVD player this year but I finally got the right one and I picked these up so I got the elf DVD and I got the Polar Express and the animated Dr. Seuss how the Grinch stole Christmas next I got something for my dog I got him an advent calendar for December because they had little treats inside speaking of my dog I got this for him I want to wear this when I decorate the tree so I can take a picture. <laughs> so I have this for him. They're like just these cute pajamas. You guys know Target does that thing where they match everybody with the mama, the daughter, the sister, the brother, the dog. I didn't know that they were doing that with this until the next time I went to Target, I found these pants. So of course I had to get them. Okay, then I ended up getting these. They're just hooks for wreaths. I got two of them because silver always sells out and I just wanted to have two. They're five bucks each from the Wonder Shop section of Target. I got these, guess why? Katie Vining. She was explaining that you could put your TV remotes in that and I thought that was such a good idea. So I got two of these. Probably going to use this one because I'm in the gingerbread spirit this year. They were like $5 each. And then speaking of the dollar spot, I also picked up these. I went to like 10 different targets, you guys. That's the key if you're looking for stuff and the dollar spot especially. They always sell out. I picked these up. I went to a target that's literally like 45 minutes away from me and I got these oven mitts. I haven't seen them since. And it's just a little gingerbread. Santa's mitt like that's so cute they're three dollars each you guys i can't stop and i have more gingerbread to show you after this i really want to get the gingerbread pillow from kirkland's i didn't even know about that one when i bought this one and don't get me wrong don't cover your ears i love her it's just the Kirkland one is a little bit cuter and more aesthetic. I really want to get that one, but this one was $5. Can't beat it. The one at Kirkland's is $25 right now. And I got these sets of mugs. I got a gingerbread one and I got a snowman one for $5 each. Next thing from Target are some trees. So I got these ceramic trees again, but they are a more unfinished sanded type of material. And I got these because of Miss Katie. I'm twinning with her. She actually got these three as well. I picked up the trifecta. It's the smaller one, the medium, the big boy. And all of these are actually neutral colors, which is perfect for literally anywhere in my apartment. So I'm excited to use these somewhere in here. And the last thing I got from the Target dollar spot was this pillow. It is the Santa Claus North Pole pillow. It's like Santa mail. Really, really cute. I love it. There is one a little bit bigger than this with a flap on the back for 10, but I got this one for five. And I just like the look of this one a little bit better. Now, moving on to my michael's so i just went to michael's literally today and i picked these up these are the gingerbread items that i ended up getting so i got these trees everything in the store at least on this side was 40 percent off of the regular price they are these gingerbread snowflake trees if you guys can see so so cute i love them they are glittery which i'm not the hugest fan of but i'm not opposed i could do a little glitter just as long as it's subtle and i think this is subtle enough with the gingerbread houses that I'm okay with it. The bigger one was $29.99. The smaller one was 
$6.99 and again 40% off. I also couldn't resist this. I don't even remember whose shop with me video I was watching but I was watching one last night and that's what sparked this trip to Michael's today. She's so cute okay. This is such a good sign and it was $21.99 before the 40% discount and it has a flap on the back so it can stand up by itself. I don't need to nail it to anything. And then the last sign, I wasn't even planning on getting this. I wanted those three but I just couldn't resist when I saw it. This is so so cute. This was $29.99 before the discount. I'm super excited to have this and I might even make a little hot cocoa bar. I'm not sure. Also from Michael's, I picked these up. Shout out to the workers at Michael's. They really came in clutch for me. There were no more flocked ornaments literally anywhere and she pulled these out the woodworks these are green flocked i really missed the mark on the hobby lobby flocked ornaments i didn't even know they existed until i started watching shop with me videos on youtube i wasn't really in the christmas mindset in august when i was buying fall decor in september and october those babies were gone i didn't see any flocked ornaments at my hobby lobby at all so i know they sold out michael's has their own version they had these green i know they also have like red gold blue but i just pick these up because these were literally the only two that she had. I know one year I'll probably do gold and green so I just have these for that year to come. Not for this holiday season but definitely going in storage safe and sound because these are glass. Next from Macy's only got a couple of things and it's all the exact same. I got 12 of these bad boys. So these are crystal picks. When you touch it, it's actually more of like a plasticky. It's not a glass, which is great because I don't feel like dropping these picks because I got 12 of them. And I am planning on using them possibly this year to stick inside of the tree to mimic an extra branch falling off or kind of like coming out of the tree. So I'm excited to use these. And I literally got 12 of them. I was reading the reviews on Macy's and apparently they sell it every year. So you know how I feel about limited edition selling out right now. Come get it, I had to go get them. So speaking of picks, let's go to Hobby Lobby. Now Hobby Lobby is the majority of my tree decorations. I got so much stuff for my tree at Hobby Lobby because I decided last minute that I didn't want to do a red theme. I think I'm going to do like a Candyland situation when I decide to do red. But this year I really wanted to do Winter Wonderland situation. So I knew no better place than to go to Hobby Lobby. Katie Vining actually put me on a Hobby Lobby when it came to Christmas decor. I had no idea they were doing this. They did 50% off the entire store. My first trip there, I got so many ornaments, so many things for literally $120. I love it there. I want to live in there. Here's what I got at Hobby Lobby. These will probably get used this year. I don't know how many I'm going to do, but they're definitely going in this tree. They add such good texture. These are like cream colored little balls on top of the picks. Everything, like I said, was 50% off. So any price I say from Hobby Lobby is going to be halved. So this was $1.99 retail. Okay, I got the exact same picks, but in this copper color, because I just feel like whenever I do that green velvet especially i just got the green velvet today but i just thought about this imagine like green and gold with the copper coming out of the tree like a traditional tree not a flocked that would look so beautiful now i don't know what theme i want to do for next year i literally didn't even decorate and i'm already talking about next year like someone stop me next thing speaking of picks I was trying to be like Gemma, but I failed you guys. I cannot find her pics anywhere. She actually lives in the UK. So I know I'm not gonna get the exact replica. I even went as far as to go on the range to try to pay, <laughs> like to get them over here to the US. But she has these beautiful, 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 beautiful pics from, I don't remember exactly where she said, I think she said a garden center, but I just watched her recent Decorate the Truth With Me video from this year. She said that the range had a lot specifically of the ones that I wanted, but I couldn't find them online. So they're probably only in store and I don't live in the UK. So this is the best I can come up with. She has pretty beautiful glittery white picks that are more of like a thicker leaf material, but I found these at Hobby Lobby. They're definitely not the same. They're thinner material, but it's the same glittery white that I'm looking for. And I think I'm gonna put some in the tree. It looks really cute just sticking out. I have a lot in the bag. Now it's time for ornament heaven, okay? I have so many ornaments from Hobby Lobby. Let's start. I don't even know if I'm gonna use these this year. Take a shot every time I say, I don't even know if I'm gonna use these this year. Literally, <laughs> I was just grabbing and going, girl. I was having a blackout every time I went to go Christmas shopping. I got 
these disco. And the good thing about Hobby Lobby, most of Hobby Lobby's ornaments have the shatterproof sticker on the side. Beautiful white ornaments with like these silver specks. I love them. I got these, which I love. I can't wait to put them on the tree as well. They did have a smaller version of these, but I just love the big versions. These were $10.99. These that I told you guys about were also $10.99. Keep in mind before the discount. And these were $6.99 retail. These were so, so cute. Just like cute little like snowball looking ones these were 11.99 retail i got these which are beautiful do you see that detail she's stunning these were 11.99 retail now do you see why i bought so many ornaments from here gorgeous stunning never the same totally unique completely not ever been done before these are some butterfly clips i got these clips before another pair of clips that i'll show you guys a little bit later in the video just really love butterflies i have a little personal connection to butterflies and i just feel like i will use these at some point if not on the tree somewhere else so i picked up a pack of four of these and these retail for 9.99 i also got two packs of these i thought they'd be cute to like have falling down the tree these are some icicle ornaments this is a pack of eight i believe and these retail for 4.99 each and then lastly in here this one is really really special to me my late aunt used to have angels all around her apartment every single time that i went to visit her so i always have angels around my apartment to kind of symbolize her i have a mug from her last apartment here and if you guys saw my moving vlogs it's the first mug that i drank out of in this apartment i also have angels in front of my windows in my bedroom and i just had to get it so that is what she looks like if you guys are also new here this angel that's around my neck also is for her and the bird is for my grandmother that I talk to like every single week on my dad's side of the family so I have a lot of symbolism going on here but the angel I could not pass up couldn't resist next from Hobby Lobby I ended up picking up some pillows so <laughs> Katie was really having me running for dear life to Hobby Lobby on the first Saturday of November I had just gotten paid and I literally ran there because she was talking about these pillows specifically. When I went inside, it was the first thing I asked for and they had some left. They had some ornament pillows in different colors this year at Hobby Lobby. I think green and also red or like a kind of burgundy color, but they didn't have them when I was there. Either way, I wasn't really planning on getting them. I just wanted to see them in person, but I saw these in person. These are like a Sherpa sweater material. These retail for $22.99. So I got two for the price of one. I am planning on using these on my couch right in front of me. It goes perfectly with the pillows that I already have. That's my plan. I don't know. I do have some pillows coming in the mail from Kirkland's. They're the candy cane pillows that everyone's obsessed with from Pottery Barn. I'm telling you guys, I've been to Pottery Barn. They literally feel the exact same. It's 25 bucks. I think the one at Pottery Barn is like literally $80 for that pillow. But for this year, we're going with the neutrals. I love the ornaments. And then speaking of Pottery Barn, I got these pillows from Hobby Lobby as well. These are snowflake shaped pillows. These were at Pottery Barn for $80 as well. I think <laughs> it's a theme. Everything in there costs $50 to $80 a piece for decor. But I got two of these. And I'm not going to lie, this is a pillow that I will say Pottery Barn does have Hobby Lobby beat when it comes to quality. Obviously, you're getting a pillow for $23.99 retail versus $80 retail. You would hope that there is a difference. And with that one, I can confirm there is a big difference when it comes to textures as well as filling. The one from Pottery Barn is definitely more firm but for what i'm trying to do honestly this is a really really good deal if i really really just want to get the one from body barn i will later but for right now i'm not really pressed about getting the snowflakes but when i saw they had the exact same shape i had to snag so i got two for the price of one at 23.99 oh my god we have more ornaments i didn't even realize we have two packs of these so these are like the main ornaments that i'm gonna put on the tree to fill it out matte ornaments sparkly shiny and we have some like iridescent situation going on pack of 50 so i got 100 ornaments for 15.98 and then the last things from hobby lobby are two of these Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot I got this, you guys. I feel like I, I feel like it's Christmas right now. I forgot I got this from Hobby Lobby because I've never gotten a candle from there before. I'm not really a fan of tree scents. 
um, hence why I've never really been that into live trees. Even growing up, I never really had a live tree. I had one once or twice in my childhood, and that was like going towards my teenage years, but I wasn't really into them. I've always just been into synthetic trees. It's what I've grown up with. I lived in apartments for the majority of my initial childhood, like those early one to 13 years. We never had a real tree in our apartment, and actually I have really bad allergies just in general. It's not really something I like to deeply inhale. I feel like it's a tree scent, but there's something else in there that's making it sweet enough for me to want to burn. I need something to calm down the tree, like freshly cut tree smell. Freshly cut grass trees, I can't do it. So this one is a doable scent for me. Really, really subtle second element in there. I think it might be the coconut wax. I don't know. It was $19.99, so I got it for 10 bucks. And then the last two things I got, the other one is wrapped up, but I got these trees. They're almost mirrored. They are a silver, it's like a downswept tree. Love. All right, you guys, we are down to the last two stores. We are going to be talking about home goods and home scents. So, starting with home goods, the first bag is probably one of my favorite things I got in this entire haul. And that's saying something because there was a lot in here, okay? I saw it sitting on the display at one of my home goods and I just love it. It is this, is it wooden? It's probably wooden. It doesn't say the material. It has bells <laughs> on the neck of it and the antlers are just so, so beautiful. It is just like this carved deer sitting down i love the way it looks and he was 19.99 next things i got from home goods and this is literally going to be a surprise because i don't remember a lot of stuff i got from home goods because i went so many times i do know though this feeling of this you guys know how much i love rudolph the red-nosed reindeer so i got a couple things from rudolph the red-nosed reindeer collection they had at home goods i didn't even know they're doing this but i'm so glad i caught it when i did i have been wanting to get some wine glasses that were christmas themed this isn't exactly what i had in mind i was thinking more of like snowman or something simple but when i saw that they had a rudolph the red-nosed reindeer wine glasses i had to pick it up there was no question i did not care the price i did not care the circumstances i was getting them when i saw them luckily they were only 14.99 but if they were 50 bucks i literally would have gotten them i love rudolph that much don't kill me you guys i got some more mugs i did i got i got like five more mugs i'm not even gonna lie rudolph the red nosed reindeer freaking mug are you kidding me and it's a decent size this is so good i know someone's gonna ask me do you really use these mugs you guys i make a cup of tea like every night okay these mugs are gonna get used please how could i say no and when all of your mugs are like seven eight nine dollars like how could you not a lot of them are five this one was seven next mug <laughs> The next mug is, okay, I got a snowman. I totally forgot I got those sets from Target, but I'm keeping both, y'all know me. With the little smile, and it's it's raised, so you can feel, I just, I love it. And this was $5.99. The next mug, <laughs> the next mug is, I could be the subway, the next stop is. The next stop is. It's giving very much the next mug is. This one just reminds me of Lucky for some reason. It's just the way he's looking at us that gives Lucky vibes. Like he has such an attitude and a little personality. This is Lucky's first Christmas in this apartment. I've had Lucky, I think it's like six to eight weeks you can take a dog. It was my mom's coworker that sold us the dog. Her dogs accidentally had a litter. <laughs> so he was one of those dogs. So I've had Lucky ever since he was a puppy. I raised him, I trained him. And when I moved into this apartment, I told myself when I got him when I was 13, that I was gonna have him in my own apartment when I moved out one day and that day finally came last January so this is really special to me and it's very rare that I find chocolate lab merchandise I usually see either golden or black lab so I just really love this next bag from home goods I don't even know what this is oh wow okay so I went to home goods the other day recently and i picked up this cookie jar before i found out about the gingerbread cookie jar but i really want to keep it because look at how cute it is it says letters to santa it even has a north pole postage stamp on it do you see that it actually doesn't have a tag anywhere on here so the cashier gave it to me for $14.99 next bag from home goods is going to be probably another mug yes i got this one the other day too this one's a little bit smaller but still functional for me it's just a grinch mug i had to and this was 5.99 at home goods and then you guys i was actually looking for this in the back of my mind but i didn't think i was gonna find it and i found it at this home goods this was way out of the way home goods too like so far away from my house i was looking for a spoon rest 
gingerbread kitchen. Look at the spoon breasts. It was $4.99. So, so, so cute. I love it. So classic Christmas with the holly and just the simple gingerbread. I'm so glad it didn't have any like weird designs or anything. Just really simple and classic and I love. Next thing is this. I showed you guys this in my shop with me video really really soft throw blankets at home goods this is by the brand doso feel i believe and this was 20 bucks silhouettes of people doing winter activities on this side someone skiing down a hill i just really love this i haven't opened it up to see how big it spreads out but i'll definitely layer this on top of my casa luna blanket that i have in my room right now one more rudolph for the road okay i found these out of place these were the last pair of towels at my home goods they were $12.99 which is expensive for me to be paying for towels at home goods normally i pay around five maybe eight dollars for towels at home goods maybe ten if i'm going crazy but thirteen dollars was definitely a lot for me in that specific store but i just you know how i feel about rudolph the red nose reindeer like i just couldn't help myself so i had to get it it's him and clarice you guys we are down to the last store and that is going to be home sense for the gingerbread kitchen i found this tree before finding those trees today at michael's and i thought about returning it but when i thought about it i was like no i'm actually gonna keep it because i feel like i can use it in a different part of my kitchen this is a gingerbread tree also really really sparkly a lot of places were incorporating a lot of sparkles this year i still don't really know how i feel about it kind of on the fence about the sparkles regardless it's a very aesthetically pleasing tree for me this looks realistic it looks like a cookie i saw on potterybarn.com the promo pictures for the gingerbread houses had a tree i thought it was real i think it was just somebody building gingerbread and putting it in a tree format and that's how i kind of wanted to emulate and i really love this because of that i'm not going to be returning it it was $14.99 next from home sense are the clips that i'm a thousand percent using this year another person on here called hazel love her trees as well she was decorating down her trees for the past couple of years i went back and watched them i decided to pick these up these were $16.99 they are sparkly they're beautiful and they're white perfect for my theme this year these were the bells i was talking about <laughs> towards the beginning of the video from michael's just these silver bells i got three packs next from home sense we have this I bought this on a whim. I thought it was really cute. I can find a place to use it, but it's just a little wooden deer. Perfect for neutral decor. Next for the gingerbread kitchen, you guys. I got this. I found this at One Home Sense, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it. So when I went back again and saw that they were fully stocked, I had to pick it up. And the last bag from Home Sense, you guys, is, I don't even know, <laughs> low key, high key. Oh my gosh, how could I forget about these? Okay, so I ended up buying those Rudolph cups, right? But what I didn't know is this is my initial plan to get reindeer wine glasses. I specifically had an image in mind from Home Goods. Searched all over Home Goods, couldn't find them. Went to Home Sense and found a pair. They're not the exact ones that I wanted, but look at how beautiful these are. These are the reindeer wine glasses. And if you guys can see, that is the reindeer on the bottom. These were $9.99 each. I got two of them. I cannot wait to drink my holiday drinks out of these wine glasses. And that concludes my Christmas decor haul, you guys. I hope Hope you guys enjoyed this video my living room is a mess i cannot wait to sort out and organize everything i will see you guys for my christmas decorate with me i cannot wait i'm super excited now that my tv is mounted i cannot wait to decorate my tv stand i've never had a tv stand before i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next christmas video bye